welcome back to Cassie L Reviews on the Indie Game Report. In this episode, we're taking a look at a simple, easy to follow two player card game called Chicken Roundup by Robert Johnson. Chicken Roundup is a card game in which players are attempting to have the most chickens in their coop at the end of the game. The player with the most is the winner of Chicken Roundup. Ready to go get plucky? Let's go check out Chicken Roundup. Welcome to Chicken Roundup. As mentioned in the beginning, Chicken Roundup is a two player game in which each player is attempting to have the most chickens in their coop at the end of the game. Players collect chickens into their coop at the end of their turn, and the amount of chickens collected depends on the order the chickens are in prior to entering the coop. You see, chickens have a pecking order. They only follow a chicken into the coop of greater value. Gold chickens, also numbered five, are the highest chickens in the pecking order. Any chicken but another gold chicken will follow her into the coop. Next are silver number fours, then red number threes, black number twos, and finally white number one chickens. Chickens also have an action attached to them. The action may only be used when the chicken is played from a player's hand. Actions help players rearrange the field to uh, either better their pecking order so they can score more points, or they may mess with their opponent's pecking order. Actions are either diagrammed and show the way cards may move around, or they will be written actions and will allow the active player using the card's special abilities. On a player's turn, they may play up to two cards from their hand to either use the actions on the cards, or they may discard them to get a new card from the table into their hand, and then move the fox around. Moving the fox can be important because at the end of a player's turn, if the fox is directly adjacent to a player's coop, the fox eats the top chicken card in the coop, and the player loses that chicken for endgame scoring. After the active player has played her cards, she sends her chickens into the coop. If the fox is exposed from the middle row, he is shifted into the lineup for the active player's coop. The spaces are then filled in. The active player refills her hand and then passes turn. Once a player has drawn the rooster card, the final round is triggered. At the end of the final round, whichever player has the most chickens in her coop, is a winner of Chicken Roundup. So that was Chicken Roundup. Foul game, am I right? In all seriousness, um, I thought that Chicken Roundup was a really enjoyable game. You don't find a lot of two-player games that are really fun, and this one I thought was really fun. There's, uh, I like all of the different mechanics with you're trying to collect your chickens and the fox is running around trying to eat your chickens and then you can have a dog chase the fox around too. There's all these different things going on. I really liked the pecking order. In fact, um, it made me look up information about how pecking orders work and just knowing how pecking orders exist and, and how it was incorporated in the game, it all went really well with the mechanics and it made the game feel uh, very much more like you're a farmer collecting up chickens. The rules were explicit and I had no problems following along. My requests for uh, improvement on this game therefore are going to be really easy and probably have very little impact on the game. And the first one is art. This game was really fun and I think that it deserves good art. I mean right now it's just you know outlines of chickens, outlines of foxes and things like that so I think that uh, players like to have something nice to look at when they're playing a game and this game is a fun game for two players to play and I think that it deserves good art. My only other request for the game would be maybe a player aid for the rules that are non-diagrammed. The diagrammed rules are easy to understand because it, it shows you what you can do with the cards, but the non-diagrammed actions we had to frequently check them up in the rule book. so if we had maybe just like a small little player aid card or something that came with it, that would have made it um, just a little easier on us. So like I said, the requests I was going to have for this game were going to have little impact with the game itself, art, and uh, player aid. So other than those two things, I think this game was fantastic. It was free. You can check it out on BoardGameGeek. There's a link to check it out down below. For more information about the Indie Game Report, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter and theindiegamereport.com. Thanks for watching. That's Cassiel squawking out with Chicken Roundup by Robert Johnson. Go!